Hey guys, people, you welcome to my YouTube channel. I trust you are all doing well. It's been a while. Yeah, so if you are new here, please kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell to get alerts whenever I upload awesome and great content like this. And if you are old here, you welcome once again. Let's start, let's start with today's design, right? So I'll open my puzzle lab. Yeah, this is the design we are going to work on it. This is the design. I'm going to reveal the secrets on how I did it to you guys. So you could see that the design is on point. This is about a beauty salon flyer that I did. So I'm going to reveal the secrets to you. So all what is expected of you is stay tuned and watch this tutorial to the end and let's learn together, right? So let me tap on this here and then get rid of the design so that I will start afresh and then you guys will know how i did it so i will delete this particular test right and come to this tool here right come here then i will upload my background i'll come to from gallery and upload my background i have my background here so this particular background right so you can see that the background image is not in the square size yeah it is not the square size so i will tap on the square size that's the one by one size then i'll get it like this i'll tap on it and get it like this and move it here somewhere here then i'll tap on a check mark so i get my background like this right so what i always do is that when i get a background and the background is not suiting the design i'm coming to do then i will come here i always normally come here that's where you can change the um the saturation the hue and the contrast of your background right so with this time i'm going to just increase the hue of it the hue of the background color to somewhere eight as you can see so i have changed the hue of it to eight right so i'll tap on a check mark i'm going to start with my design i'm going to start uploading the images I'm going to use. So I will first tap on the middle tool here to come and import some images from my gallery. So I will up, no, not this one. Let me delete it and come back. Yeah, I have removed the background of it. This image I want to, I'm going to start with it, right? This is the main image I'm going to use, right? You could see that the image is in, it's a very high quality image. Yeah, but then, as I did with the background, anytime I'm working with an image in a design, I make sure that I increase the hue, the contrast, and the brightness of the image to suit the design I'm going to work on it, right? I'm going to work with, right? So with this one here, I will increase the hue, the saturation, the brightness of it so that I get the actual effect and the actual colors I need. In the, to make the design very eye catchy and popping right so i will come to color filters that's where i always play around it to get what i want so i'll increase the hue to three and then the saturation to somewhere eight so look here you could see that the colors and the effect of the image is changing yeah it's becoming very very high quality so i'll increase the saturation to somewhere eight the brightness to i will just increase the brightness to just one and the contrast to somewhere 20. okay so somewhere 20 like this yeah so you could see that if you compare this one i have gotten here to the first image that i uploaded the one that i didn't increase the filters the saturation the other stuff so you could see that this one is very beautiful and high in high quality than the first one could you see that yeah so that's it so i'll position it somewhere here i will just position it somewhere here let me move this one back a bit right okay so somewhere here and i will let me increase the size a bit move it here all right i will lock it right away lock it so that it will not distract me so i will come to test and start writing something start write my first test that's the name of the saloon that's the crystals the saloon name is crystals beauties like this all right it's like this now change the font real quick come to my fonts i just use the 
font i recently used it that's the sensor bold this particular font here if you have it you can use it you can use any font that can seal the design every design has has a particular font you have to use so if the font does not see which is get a font that will see the design right so i'll come to spacing line spacing you could see that the line the space between the two um west i mean the crystals and the beauty is too much yeah it's too much for me so i have to reduce it to here yeah so minus 22 it's not bad so i will come to color i'll come to color then i will give it this color this particular color here right this particular color here right you could see that once i tap on the color it has affected it has affected the um the two ways the crystals and the beauty but then i want to affect only the crystals so what i will do here is i'll come to selection many people don't know this so listen attentively once you come to selection select the word or the letter you want the color to affect it right so i want it to affect only the crystals so i will move this like this here you see to select only the crystals so as you can see i'll select the crystal let me change let me tap on the color i want right so it has affected the um white only the i choose white for the crystals as you can see it affected the crystals so let me choose all the colors and choose white for it now let me select the crystals again and choose this color for it right so it has affected only the crystal so that's how we do it that's how this one secret i have revealed to you right so with this scene with this done let's come to the middle two here again the middle two here again and i'm going to import um some lighting image so i will choose this lighting image here so i will tap on a check mark here what, what i'm going to use this image to do is i'm going to give it some glowing and shiny effects on the in the design right it's going to give shiny and glowing effects on the in the design right so i'll just position one here i'll make the duplicate of it but then i'll position the first one here and reduce the opacity it's too bright for me so i'll reduce the opacity to somewhere 75 is okay for me so this kind of thing is has been trending lately yeah, you could see some designs and you will see some lighting effects making it shiny and glowing making it more attractive yeah and making it more professional so that's how we do it once you get the image like this position it at a point that will make the image especially with the um apply it on images to make the image very glowing and make to create some source of um lighting in the image so you i'll put, place it somewhere here and then i will make a duplicate of it yes i'll make it i'll copy it then i'm going to make apply um some the same thing to the test tool right so i'll flatten it i'll move it here like this flatten it like this then position it here position it here and send it to back once i have sent it back i'll copy it make a duplicate of it again and then now i will make it like something like this then position it here yeah i want some light effect on it but go send it back again i want some light effects there so i will copy it again copy then let this be flat like this and position it here position it somewhere here but then let's reduce the opacity of it a bit to somewhere like this 31 is okay so let's copy it again oh i think i should this is okay for me so guys that's how we do it i want some light effect there so i have created something like this it's okay for me yeah so i'm going to write some tests so i will write our services our services like this bring some colon here tap on a check mark right reduce the font size like this position it here let me change the font of it change the font of it to 
somewhere Montserrat medium I will choose Montserrat medium for it then I will tap on OK then I will space the text come to letter letter spacing and space it I will reduce the font of it, the size of it to to somewhere okay let me see the spacing the spacing should be okay should be somewhere 28 okay mm -hmm. make it aligned with the test this test make it aligned right alignment is very important when it comes to designing graphic design so i will get something like this and then let me give it a background yeah i would i would like to give it a background so uh, with the background i will give it radius okay radius of four it's not bad for me it's not bad so i will just um give this color as a background to it yeah i i right so i will let me edit it let me edit it the space between here is too much for me right so get something like this and let me move it here now i will come in to upload images in the design right so first of all come to shapes and make some shape like this come to radius increase the radius somewhere seven uh, six is okay and increase the size right I'm going to change the color of the shape. I'm going to change the color of the shape. Send it to. But I have a gradient color here. I'm going to use it for. I've been. I've taught you how to get gradient colors over and over here. Yeah, on this channel. So I know you guys know how I did. I got this gradient colors, right? So sake of tutorials, I will not go over. So I will tap on the check mark here, and I'm going to create a shape create a shape so that i can give a texture image to it so let's follow attentively yeah so i will increase the radius of the shape to increase the radius of the shape to 44 or 45 is okay recent chair of the channel i took you guys through on how to custom shapes so i'm going to custom a shape for it i'm going to custom a shape so i'll tap on the check mark here let me edit and let me duplicate it copy it and edit it right so once you edit it you get rid of the radius reduce the radius back to zero wow right and then move it here position it somewhere here on the corner here right and tap on the check mark like this so i get a shape like this i have gotten a shape like this right that's the custom shape i have going to give a texture images to it so i will come here no i'll come to the layer button and then i'll merge these shapes together i'll merge them together i'll merge them so that they can become one right so once i have gotten this i'll come to texture come to texture come to texture type here to give it an image to give it an image texture let me come go back to downloads it is in my downloads i have some images i downloaded so i'll first choose this particular image give it this size the one by one size that's the square size tap on the check mark so as you can see um it has been the te um the image has taken the shape of has taken the shape right <laughs> okay so let me come to strokes and give it stroke enable it and give it stroke of two stroke of two i'll give this color as a stroke weight as the color of the stroke weight right then i'll copy the same shape just copy it copy it and then you come to texture and give it a texture a different texture to so come to your gallery i have a, another image here i'm going to give it as a texture select it like this then tap on the check mark like this position it here right make it align with the first one okay so somewhere like this then i will copy it again and give it another texture i'm going to give it a test i want three images here so 
I will come back here and give this image as a texture to it, right? So have it like this. Okay, let me come to texture and enable it. Enable it. So I get something like this. It's not bad, right? So guys, we are almost done. We are almost done. As I told you, this is very simple. This design is very simple. Okay, I want the space to be the same. Same space between each of them. Mm -hmm. So take your time. Okay, okay, guys. So I'm taking my time to make the space the same and bring this stuff right so it's not it's not bad right so i'll merge these images together i'll merge these images together here are they right so i'll come tap here merge them together so that i can move both of them um all the images i'll move them right here to the left okay so guys that's it now i'll write the service they do at the shop right i'll write the services come to test and then i have the services here i have the service so i'll paste it and then tap on okay reduce the size to make it very small yeah so this size is not bad 20 is not bad make sure you align your elements now come to font and choose the Montserrat medium for it. Montserrat medium, choose it for it, right? So I have this test here. Now it has left the location, their contact. So let me come to test and let me write type location, any random location based on the look where you are. If you can use your own location, so I have some, this location. Tap on call any random number because so this random number i'll tap on ok right so i'll come to size reduce the size back to 20 as the first one right so i'll position it here change the font to montserrat medium like this so position it here guys we are almost done that's how we do it but then i want to upload a logo a logos here i'll upload the logo an image to create a logo for it so tap on the check mark like this right so i will let me move these resources to the top let me move these resources to the top okay okay I'll move these resources to the top. I have to be careful here so that I select the right resources. I'll move them to the top a bit. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't select beauty, a beauty one. Okay. So let me come back and select these resources again. So, okay, 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 and this one, okay, so let me see if I can do it right this time, okay, so I move it somewhere here, top like this, then tap on the check mark. Okay, so this is okay for me. Let me move this here. Make sure your alignment and everything is on point. Yeah, so guys, you are almost done. I will come to my gallery and import this image. I'm going to use it as uh, where is the image? I'm going to use it as logo. Like, I'll copy it like this. 
reduce the size and position it here so i'll give it as a logo then change the color of it change the color to this color here yeah so i believe you have seen how i'm using the colors using only few colors in the design don't use more than three colors in your designs yeah to make it attractive and on point so guys we are almost done we are almost done i will come back to my gallery come back to my gallery come to import i'll import i this brush image the makeup brush image so it is about makeup they do makeup so i want to create emphasis here so i'm going to use this image here then copy it bring it here bring it here copy it again and bring it here right so almost done almost done almost done bring it here okay so bring it here okay okay so guys something like this too it's not bad so i just did it to create emphasis to make beautify the design i'll copy this light image here copy it and place it here right place it somewhere here so guys that's how we do it that's how i did it let me write this test here let me write it under the logo the crystal 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 now it's up and okay right so change the font real quick to this particular font this sensor board then yeah so position it here position it there right so guys we are done we are done so that's how we do it it's very simple as i told you so i believe you have gotten value from this particular tutorial if you find this tutorial helpful please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like comment and share turn on the post notification bell and also do well to visit the channel again so that's how we do it guys goodbye see you